Mike, neighbors we spoke with today have surveillance cameras outside of their home and say they were rolling around one o'clock this morning when a car pulled up in front of this house where the bodies were found. That, I mean, that does freak me out. Neighbor Christy Bolin says she heard nothing early this morning, but surveillance cameras outside her and her husband Robert's home did catch a car stopped in front of the victim's house. At 1 a.m., there was a vehicle that pulled up in front of the house with lights on, engine still running, and it stayed there for about 25 minutes. And then um, Robert said it slowly drove off. Bolin says she handed the video to police. A man, woman, and at least three children live inside this rental home, now surrounded by crime tape. They just don't understand what's going on. They're just totally flabbergasted by the entire situation. Uh, evidently, everything yesterday was just fine, and then this morning, not so fine. Kenton County Prosecutor Rob Sanders says the bodies were found by a family member, but he would not say exactly where they were found inside the home, how they were killed, or if there is a suspect. I don't think that we are chasing any one person in particular right now, um, but the, the Ellesmere police are investigating whether someone is responsible for these deaths, and if so, obviously they'll be interested in finding that person. And this home tonight still surrounded by crime tape. A Kenton County police officer also parked in the driveway. This is very much an active crime scene. Tonight, neighbors also telling me that those children involved that were living in this home are staying somewhere else tonight with family members. Reporting live in Ellesmere, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5.